All right, so look, man, we got a tips and predictions video for round 27 of the NRL. Last game or last round before the actual playoff starts, so I'm super excited about that. You know how we always get the predictions video started by going over all of the games that happened on round the week before, which was round 26. We're going to do this super fast because we got a lot to talk about as far as the standing goes, who's eliminated, who has the last chance to even get into the postseason, which I believe there's only two teams. But we'll talk about that in one second. Real quick, we're about to run through um, round 26 action. Make sure you sub to the channel. Please and thank you on the road to 1,000 subs. And make sure you like this video. But uh, first game of round 26, we had the Cowboys beat the Storm. Um, wasn't surprised, but I did um, think the Storm was going to get that win. Sea Eagles beat the Bulldogs, which I expected. Um, pa the Panthers beat up on the Rabbitohs. Ills. Uh, beat the the dragons in a shootout I was surprised about that the dolphins actually crushed the broncos and took them out of playoff contention that was crazy right there warriors i had so much fun watching this warriors game sean johnson's last uh last game as a warrior or just last game period that game, that reaction was actually blocked so it is on my patreon the patreon link is in the description uh, that game is posted over there free of charge. So you could just click the link and watch that watch that uh, video. And uh, the Knights beat the Titans and the Raider or yeah, the Raiders beat the um, Roosters. So with that out the way, we got through that real quick, didn't we? Anyway, let's go to the standings. And this is where it, it start to get a little bit start to get a little bit tricky. From my understanding, all of these teams are out. Um, we're going to start with the teams that's already eliminated. Eliminated, of course, is the West Tigers and the Eels. They only had six wins this year. Um, seven wins, uh, the Rabbitohs, they are eliminated as well. They actually had a run where they won like three in a row, four in a row, and was actually seeming like they were going to try to make some noise with a late season push, but that was ended short. The Titans, uh, the Titans is eliminated. The Warriors. Sad story, sad story. Only nine wins this season. It was a rough year for all Warriors fans. Uh, shameful at times. Um, terrible at best. But with that being said, the reason why Sean Johnson's last game, and I'm noticing now, is because they have a bad week, so their season is over. Um, shout out to Sean Johnson, and, and hopefully, you know, he continue to be great in life. Anyway, the Broncos also is eliminated with 10 wins and 13 losses. That's why it was such a big loss to the Dolphins because now the Dolphins have moved into the 8th seed and there's no way possible for the Broncos to make it because all of these teams have 11 wins, these four teams here, and they all play each other, which is very crazy. So let's go to the teams real quick at the top of the standings that already made it. Um, one through seven is already locked in at the moment. The only thing that can change up there is positioning. The storm did take over the one seat and win, lose or draw. They will have the one seat, which is pretty dope. So the storm get the one seat. Um, Panthers at two right now. Roosters with that tough loss and all of those injuries. Ah, it's going to be hard to see them um, succeed in the postseason with all of those injuries. But the Roosters uh, are in at the three seed. So right now, the Sharks are in at the four seed. We got um, the Bulldogs at five, Cowboys at six, Sea Eagles at seven. So now where it gets complicated is I believe in my mind, eight and nine is the only teams that matter. Because eight is the where the playoffs cut off, and nine is, of course, the team that's fighting to get in. They're both locked. So the Knights and the Dolphins. Dolphins is at eight. Knights is at nine. They play each other. They're both 11 and 12. So the winner of this game will get the final playoff spot, unless it's some type of tiebreaker between the Knights, Dragons, and Raiders, which I'm not too sure of right now. But right now, the Dolphins win, and they are in. If the Knights win, then um, they'll have this, uh, the same record as whoever wins out of the Raiders and Dragons game. Like I said, I'm not sure if they have some type of tiebreaker or one of those teams can jump or leapfrog the Knights, but I'm not 
thinking they can because of the way they're positioned at the moment. So the winner of the Dolphins and Knights game will take the last spot. That's super crazy to me. <laughs> that's super crazy to me, man. So, um, yeah, that's that's the standings. That's the playoff position. That's the people that's eliminated. And now on to round 27 matches. We will we'll be watching all of these matches this week. Um, well, hopefully, because I see a couple scrub fests as well. I see one. Um, right now, we got the Storm number one seed playing the, the – uh, Broncos, I'm pretty sure Reese won't be playing since they're already eliminated. Go ahead and rest up. Heal yourself. Get your body ready for next year, even though it's going to be a long off season. But the Broncos play the Storm. Of course, I'm going to take the Storm because, like I said, I don't think Reese is going to play. Why well, play? Uh, Ills versus West Tigers. The way the um, Ills played just now, I would pick the Ills. But then the West Tigers also had a bad week last week. So they coming off a fresh, fresh body, but – there, there, there probably wouldn't be too much motivation in this unless people's fighting for jobs or just proud at this point. So I'm going to just run with the Ills. The um, rabbit, the Rabbitohs versus the uh, Roosters. The Roosters had so many injuries. I just see them just taking out all these starters. Play the young guys. Even Don't risk any more injury. Even though if you win, you keep the three seed. If you lose, you probably go down to the fourth seed. But I don't really think that make too much of a difference, man. I would rest all my players and just fight and have the young bulls fight against the uh, Rabbitohs. Uh, but I'm still going to pick the Roosters until further notice just because they're probably going to play their guys. Uh, Dragons and, and Raiders, like I said, I don't think this game means anything. Um, but I am going to pick... I liked it the way both of these teams played this week. So, uh, quick coin flip. Uh, I'm going to pick the Dragons. <laughs> um, Bulldogs versus Cowboys. This is going to be a nice one. I'm taking the Cowboys. They just played too good. Even though both teams are already locked in, uh, and unless they're fighting for positioning, I would take out my core guys. So, this, round, this last round might not have too much inclination on anything but also the Panthers play the Titans I'm taking the Panthers um Sea Eagles versus the Sharks ah uh, depending on what they fighting for I don't think the Sea Eagles have a chance to go down to the eighth seed so if they're actually locked in at the seventh seed I wouldn't play too much of my guys but I'm gonna take the Sea Eagles over the Sharks just because I think that they would fight to try to raise the Sharks is probably think they're content at that four seed that's just my opinion and then we got the dolphins versus the knights i'm taking the dolphins baby you know what i'm saying i think it's gonna be hammer time and a whole lot of it uh hoping the dolphins get into these playoffs that's just my opinion hopefully because you know big hammer fan no diddy anyway man i'm taking the dolphins to get into the postseason on this one uh, let me know what y'all think about the predictions. Let me know uh, how much y'all think I was just actually rambling. Or did it sound like I knew what I was talking about, man? Anyway, we about to get up out of here. I will catch y'all on round 27. Make sure you sub to the channel. Make sure you like this video.